Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Two Worlds 2. I am the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we left off right in front of this house. We're stealing the crystal back. And people generally are not big fans of that, so this this stuff is happening right now. I would very much enjoy to be able to You know, shoot one of these. There. Fair enough. Sadly that does actually not cause any damage whatsoever and I have no clue why it's supposed to do very good damage I'm just saying uh. you're all supposed to be in a very bad place people I would like to heal up those potions I'm drinking are not worth the, the damn coin I paid for them and I wish I had this kind of armor that these guys have. Dang! I hope that guy execute got executed big time there. That's not worth that money. We also picked up a battle clarity and the ricochet spell in the last episode. But for this fight it wasn't particularly worth. Um... Well, we'll have to see where this leads us. Before I put anything here, I can still do a third layer. So what can I put here that allows me to do a third layer of spell? Which kind of magic allows me to do this? Because the area of effect carrier allows it. Whereas this one doesn't. And this one does too. Oh, we don't have any Earth Mastery, do we? Well, for the moment, restores stamina to maximum levels. Not what I want here. Randomly hurl objects. No need for that. Increase strength. It's light is also not what I want here. For the moment, that's what I really want. And we can take out the ricochet modifier to be able to cast this a, a lot more often. Um, homing, I cannot add a second layer to that. What the ricochet is? Hmm. No, we certainly cannot add a second layer of that. Okay, for the moment, I'm fine with this. We've got another entire place left to loot. This is a, at least it's only a primitive log. We also obtained battle. I mentioned that before. I mentioned that, didn't I? There's the crushed crystal. That's why that was only a primitive log because this, of course, master log. There's that. Dun, dun. Okay, difficult one too. No room for error here. Even perfectly done. I still had a lot of trouble doing that with my skill level. Is that another 2000 auras? Yes, it is. I guess I shouldn't complain about this situation because we are getting a ton of money out of it. A small potion of strength, eh. That was a little easier. What do we get here? A brute Warhammer, Poison Bomb, eh. And last locker here. Only advanced this time. Quote unquote only. Shit, I didn't see that layer. Maybe next time. Nah. That's the next layer. I did not see that one. I should know by now, advanced and master are six layer locks, and we're basically only coming across either kind of those anymore. By the star you can probably tell how my often you've upgraded it, and the plus one means upgraded once, plus four means upgraded four times, and plus nine means upgraded nine times, so it just directly is linked to the tier of the item. 
But that's just a random guess. I think we might be onto something there, though. It's been a long time since I've done anything here, but it's probably going to be even longer till I do anything here again. Let's teleport toward the next location. Where that is, we find out here. Did we have... yeah, we did have a teleporter here too. They really carried those damn dust things all over the place, and I don't know how I got to these locations either. Oh, sorry. Ah, yeah. All your fault, woman. It's always the woman's fault. You don't, you know that, right? You know, kind of feel bad about this. Please, don't, don't make me say this twice. Just. Get I'm sorry. I broke into the wrong house. Then. Hey, hey, hey! Calm it. Calm it. Calm down. No need for violence here. No need for violence. What I have need for is... Let's try out. We have four projectiles here. This is that spell. What if we put a summon here? Summons a creature. What happens? Just... We summon four. Oh, oh. Uh, help me. So yeah. Uh, uh, For you, all help is probably coming a little too late there, honestly. You did do this to yourselves. I am a big fan of this multi summoning ritual, though. Any crushed crystals in here? Ah, just one. Just one. And you don't have anything to lockpick this time, which is something I'm actually fond. Can't have that here. Hey, put that down, will you? Oh, I'm sorry. Put that down. Was the was the creature still alive? That creature was still alive, wasn't it? Shopkeeper? Uh. Sometimes I wonder why I talk to people anymore. There's the teleporter I'm looking for. No hay. I can do what I want, woman. Okay, next one. Definitely not an admin door. This one is in Chesnadar, and the next one is gonna be in Hatmandor, and then we're done. This is a rough quest. This is a rough quest. I hope this is gonna be well paid for. Ugh, Chesnadar, man. The worst to navigate. Do 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 do. Oh, there's a an actual way to go there. That's okay. Hey, watch it, boy. Why call me boy? You can clearly see I'm a I'm a grown man. Ow. Not ow. What was with you anyways? My tired eyes see someone eager to make an order. Simply try one of my fine herbal products and make 120 orders. I'm willing to try one. That's the spirit. Within this chest, you'll find an assortment of my fine products. Simply give them a try and my orders are yours. Take an ointment for calluses from the wooden chest and use it. Hey. Ointment for calluses. Accuracy plus 50%. Uh-huh. That seems perfectly safe. To just drink and get unconscious. Do we have a deal? Perhaps I should find someone else. Other than the smell, this one works just fine. 
Mission accomplished. I assume you are aching to try the next? Ah, on to my next product. A bed sore cream. Nice. I don't sleep enough to have that problem. Of course, who sleeps anymore? <laughs> it was intended for the infirm, but I see you are quite healthy. I'll tell you what. Take the cream to the local infirmary and test it on some of their patients. But make sure to come and share your findings. Fair enough. What can I say? I'm a reasonable man. Once you've finished, you'll find me at this location. Someone less than reputable has been searching for me. Nevertheless, here, let me mark it on your map. I didn't actually accept this, this quest last time, did I? But first, important parts. This should be fun. Are you coming in here to fight me? I don't think that's a particularly smart idea. Oh, 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 where did you come from, my friend? Uh, this guy, is, this place is just full of it. You Oh, four hellhards at once? Uh, yeah. I bet you're the first one to cry out in glory and happiness. Can you just get him stunlocked, please? I mean, why do you summon hellhards if they don't do anything, right? There, that's more like it. No, that's not it. Yeah. There has to be more. There's more. Can you get out of my face? I have a feeling I need to summon you over there, don't I? Come on. You, get out of my face. Good. It's me. Hi. Hi. Sorry it took so long, my friends. Get away from me. Well, it's too late for that now. At least they're not immune to the attacks of these guys. I mean, that would be quite odd, wouldn't it? Every time they get attacked by one of my beasts, they... Yeah. Okay. I should probably just summon hornets in all honesty. They... they... I think the hornets are much smaller too. And they should be a fair bit stronger. Because I have four air cards. And I only have one summoner card. But this is absolutely fine. This costs 1,000 mana. Nah. It's not for the damage anymore, is it? <laughs> Look at those potions. This screen, man. This screen. My creatures are not particularly happy about me having summoned them in this small an area. Hey, the, you look suspicious. Let's see. Okay, that's the second to last one. I can push you guys out of the way. I hope they don't come outside with me. No, they don't. It's nice. We also have to test that cream on the infirm. Hey. I probably have to go to Admindur next, right? I can just, yeah, tell from the direction. No, that's not quite located in Hatmandur, is it? Not at all. How nice. There always seems to be a few more. And this is a bigger area as well. I very much enjoy that. Oh yeah, those insects do a bit more damage, don't they? Even if it's just a tiny bit, they do seem to be quite a, a bit smaller. What were you waiting for anyways? Uh, uh, 
What really annoys me about these guys is how they are moaning. How can you moan this much? I mean, you're the guy attacking me, right? You stole the stupid crystal and crushed it into small pieces, so I had to run over the uh, or run all over the country to get it. In my eyes, that wasn't a nice way of doing things. I'm also not a very big fan of, of hornets. Usually it's very easy to kill a hornet because you can just, you know, snip your finger against it and it's gonna get crushed. But at this size, uh, you'd have quite a bit of trouble trying to you know, just snip your finger at the thing because it can murder you with its stinger. There's nothing up here. Nothing up here. Except for my own hornets. Where's this? Where does this lead? To the inside of the city. That's just awesome. Let us go into... Oh, that's my quest solution right there. I just have to go down into the sewer. Which first has to be found by me. There is a sewer exit entrance there, I know that. But the other one is the one that's much closer to the, that underground community, isn't it? Someone was clapping again. Someone had a good time. Hello, community. I'm supposed to place it behind some kind of statue. I know you're the bouncer. Maybe, Maybe another time. Just. Actually, I'm a hundred meters away from where I need to be. Let me see that. Is me? I'm not at all that big a fan of these hornets. Well, well, look at you. You're actually attacking one of them for once. That makes you into a much better target for me. But let us change this into AoE. Create an AoE effect of, uh, with a range of 4 meters. Do I want this? Like if I, I cannot add that, I can add it now. Meaning Shower of Falling Anvils. Oh yeah, come on. I can do a Shower of Falling Anvils, can't you? I have to see one of these showers of falling anvils. That's um... Well that's not half bad, is it? Good luck mummy buddy! I don't even know why he's just taking damage from my from my flies. I mean, there's there's literally falling a anvils falling down from the sky with 350 force. I don't understand this. I don't understand this. If I were to switch this to, I don't have enchant. Shock damage per hit. Frost damage per hit. Drain life. Spectral damage per hit. Poison damage per hit. I mean, poison damage is not going to do much for a mummy, honestly. Ugh, let's try. Let's, let's stop testing this out. Let's remove damage in time. And we just create a massive flash of light like we used to do. Everybody involved is happy. Except for maybe this mummy, because this is oddly the most the most powerful thing I can do. And especially now that my mana doesn't really um, get... Well... You know what I was trying to say there. There's a couple more mummies here. This time it's worth more causing this as well. Oh, shizzle. That mana went by more quickly than I anticipated it to. 
Let's just go into the out of the fire into the frying pan here. That's one hell of a storm I can cause with that. I am pretty confident that weird beast that we had trouble against previously is probably going to have a little bit of trouble with us while we do this. Interesting. I wonder why I can put something in here. Ah. Ah. I know why I can put something in there. Because that's where that belongs. Yeah. Collect your reward. And your reputation with the guild has increased. What else is here? Back here, there's such a big area. I wonder what that is about. I mean, I can just burn through the whole guy, uh, well, like uh, through basically everything they throw at me. So I might as well try it out, seeing if I get anywhere, seeing the, if there's treasure or good treasure even. This feels like a dead end. Well, I don't see any good treasure coming along. This is where we were when we teleported to Risa's place, isn't it? So it's definitely the Hadmandor sewer and um, Chesnadar sewer area are just connected. That's the that's the gist of it. There's a treasure chest with a master lock on it, but wait, what? I didn't know I could look here. Ah oh, man. That's my timer. Give me that back. Before I um, accept the uh, end of the episode though, I will want to achieve something here. Ultimate mana potion. By the way, some of you might be calling me a heretic for always having an alarm and never actually taking the alarm for like the end of the episode. Usually that's what an alarm is for. Oh, alarm is ringing means my mi my minutes are over and I have to stop. But this is the, exactly the same as what I do in the morning when my alarm rings. Uh, I have to get up. I guess I can sleep for another hour or so. And then the entire hour, every five minutes my alarm rings. Uh, I can do another five minutes. I can do another five minutes. I can do another five minutes. Well, well, you can probably tell why I'm si why I'm single again. Never mind that though. Um, we wanted to get that reward, and for that we have to go to the entrance of Hartmandor. This is the very back of Hartmandor, hey. meaning I'm gonna just bump my way through these guys. You're in the way, people. You're as in the way as you're gonna get. Don't uh me. Okay, chest. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Android palms. Thievery plus three. Holy. Thievery plus three might make thievery actually worth, but mm, that's a might. Also, I cannot socket that thing yet. But I at least have it. No more new quests, meaning the other thing we have left to do is Elzorna. Herbal slops. Ah, right. Uh, next teleporter's down this this way. It's been 24 minutes already, and he's still not ending the episode. Do you think? Do you think Eric is gonna end this episode one day? No, no, I think that's very unlikely. Have you made anything out of yourself yet? Oh. What has you in such a good mood? Profits, my friend. I have 7,700 auras for you, and another piece of armor to sweeten the pot. Something tells me there's more. More auras? Not yet. But I'd like to talk with you about our next step. <sighs> Let's hear it. We have orders pouring in from all over Antelure. Weapons, armor, even everyday goods. Our clients are asking about these products, and I've had to turn them down. Are you saying you want to expand again? 
We can acquire the largest factory in Hatmandor. It was decommissioned after the Battle of Osroth. It's just been sitting there. With a few renovations... How much, Abbas? 20,000 auras. <laughs> oh my god. By the way, this is the investment that I'm going to hey, lose. Just I trust you. I just just you say it. Well, none of this would have been possible without you. Uh, yeah, I can't just take it. any credit. Sound a partner, remember? Of course, of course. This expansion will take some time. Go, enjoy yourself. I'll take care of the rest. Varn pelt. Last time we got a baboon pelt. This time it's a varn pelt, huh? What do you have? This is my baboon pelt. This is my varn pelt. It's not that good. It is not that good at all. But for the moment, do I really care about whether it's good or not, or do I just want to let it sit there? And I, I think I'd rather do the latter. So of course we receive auras paid Abbas twenty thousand auras to get to buy a new factory. I'm telling you, we're gonna lose that money. We're gonna lose money with him at some point because he always wants more. He always wants more. What are those? Oh my god. Well, I'm not gonna buy any of those. I told you. It's a not not a good investment. But honestly, Abbas is a very good way to spend some money and get it back and then spend it again. Where was I going next? To the infirmary. It's been 26 minutes. Eric, do you think you're gonna end this episode one day? Uh, unlikely. Infirmary. These are so quick quests to do. That's why I'm doing them. I should end the episode. You're absolutely correct. Also, I got an email, so I might as well check up on what, what that's about. Probably some kind of YouTube comment. Found infirmary. Well, what wasn't exactly that hard to find considering I was here last time. Although that time was the middle of the night. But for the moment, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Until then, bye-bye.